Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw a kanji con from Ninjago. Let's get started at the top of our page with the eye. So I'm going to get started on the left side of center and draw in a circle. Starting from the top. We'll work our way around. Now I'm going to leave a gap in the center and do the same thing on the right side. So let's line up the top of the eye and draw in that same size circle. At the top of each circle, I'm going to draw a smaller circle for a highlight. So up against the top on the left, work our way around, and we'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to fill the bottom area of the eye in black. Now we're going to go in and draw the trim around the eyes. So on the left side of the left eye, we're going to step up and draw a curve coming down and then in. We're going to do the same thing on the right. So again, leaving a gap in the center, we'll move over, curving up and then out. From the inside, I just want to curve down and around the eye. From the top outside of the trim, we're going to draw a short angled line coming down and then out. Now on the left side, I want to work my way back down to the inside here. So on the left, we're going to start by curving in and then down. We'll go around the eye and then pull it across. We're going to do the same thing on the right. Let's start on the inside, curve around the eye, going up. And we're just going to curve out towards the outside of the trim. Now directly above the eyes, we're going to add the eyebrow. So on the left side, we're going to step up, curve down, and then in. We're going to do the same thing on the right. From the inside, we're just going to curve up and in. Now let's draw on the top of the eyebrow. So we start at the top here, we're just going to draw one point, curving up and out. Now we're just going to draw a short curve coming in to create a little point. Now from here, we're going to curve out towards the end of the eyebrow. Directly above the eyebrows, we're going to add some wrinkles in the forehead. So we're going to start just above the left eyebrow. We're going to curve up, down in the middle, go back up on the right, and then down along the side. Now just above here, we're going to draw a short curve from left to right, coming down, and then back up. Now we're going to step back down and draw on the mustache. So in between the eyes, right in the center here, we're going to start with a point. From this point, I want to curve up towards the eye, and then around and down towards the bottom of the mustache. So go up and out. We're going to round this out. Now we're just going to pull that in slightly towards the bottom of the mustache. Let's go back to the top and draw on the right side. Go up and out, round out the side of the mustache, and come in towards the same height. Now we're going to go back up towards the center, right in here, and draw a short line coming down. Now from here I want to work my way down towards the corner of the mustache. So we're going to curve down and out, and pull that down towards the bottom point. We're going to do the same thing on the right. In the center, we're going to step down and draw a curve from left to right, just for the edge of the beard. Now we're going to layer the beard in behind the mustache. So from the tip, we're going to step up. On either side, we're going to curve down and then into the same height as the bottom of the mustache. Now from here, we're just going to come up with a short line. Now from here, we're going to curve down and in towards the center. I want to add a little bit of a wrinkle underneath the eyes. So just to the left side of the mustache, curve up and out, and do the same thing on the right. Now that we've drawn the face, let's draw on the outside of the head. So we start with the top of the head first. On the left side, curve up above the wrinkled forehead and back down on the right. We're going to round out the end and come straight down. So on the left side, we're just going to round out the corner and then come straight down to right about here. We're going to do the same thing on the right. Rounding out the corner, and then coming straight down to the same height. Now we're going to round this out and pull this in behind the mustache. Now let's move back up and draw in the hair. We're going to start with the band first. So from the center, we're going to move over towards the left and draw a short line. Move over towards the right and draw that same length line. Connect the top with a curve, going up and then down. From the left corner, we're going to step in, draw a curve going up and then out. 
On the right corner, we're gonna step in, curve up and out towards the right. Now we're gonna draw the hair curving over in behind the head. So let's start on the left side here. We're gonna step in, draw a curve going around, up towards the top. Now we're gonna bring this back down on the right side, pulling that in. Let's add a little bit of texture to the hair. So along the band, we're gonna step in, curve up and out towards the left. We'll step in again, draw a shorter curve. Now we're gonna go over towards the right, curving up and then out. Along the base, in behind the head, we're gonna add a little bit more texture. From the side, we're gonna step in, draw a curve, step in again, draw one short curve. We're gonna do the same thing on the right. Now that we've drawn in the head, let's draw in the large shoulder armor. From the bottom of the jaw here on the left, we're gonna curve out and then up towards the left. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna draw one more dip. From this point, we're gonna curve down and then up towards the tip of the armor. Do the same thing on the right, coming down and then up. Now we're just gonna curve this in behind the mustache. So from this point, we're gonna come down and then pull that across. Now on the left side here, we're just gonna draw a circle. And we'll draw a smaller circle inside and fill that in black. Now we're gonna continue down with the body. So from the mustache, we're gonna step out, draw an angled line coming down and out towards the left. We'll go to the right side and do the same thing, going down and out towards the right. Now we're gonna take these two points and connect it with a curve, just going down below the bottom point of the beard. From the bottom corners, we're gonna step in and draw on the lower torso. From the left, we'll step in, draw the same angled line going down and out. On the right, we'll step in and do the same thing. Now let's connect those two points with another curve, coming down and then back up. Now I just wanna add some simple detail to the body. So from this corner, we're gonna step up and just follow that same curve, coming down and in to right about there. We're gonna do the same thing on the right. And then from the top, we're just gonna angle down and then in. I just wanted to add a separation line about halfway down the body. So on the left side, we're just gonna curve down in behind the mustache, do the same thing on the right. On the bottom corners, I'm just gonna add a small circle. And we're gonna add that same circle on the inside. Now let's add some detail to the lower torso. From the top corner, we're just gonna angle down and in same thing on the right. Now I just want to trace this out on the inside. So stepping in. Now I'm going to leave a gap in the center and draw two straight lines coming down on either side. Starting on the left and then on the right. Now I just want to trace this out on the outside. So stepping out. We'll add a little bit more detail on the inside. From the bottom corner, I'm just gonna angle up and in on both sides. Now from this inside top corner, we're just gonna angle down and out. From this point, we're gonna step down and draw a straight line going across in behind these two lines. And then from the inside square at the top here, we're gonna take the bottom left corner, go up and in towards the center, and then back down. We're gonna do the same thing with the bottom. We're gonna go in the opposite direction, coming down, and then back up. Okay, so now that we got the body, let's go to the outside and draw in the two sets of arms. We start with the top arm first. From the bottom of the shoulder armor, we're gonna step down, curve out, and then down towards the wrist. We're gonna do the same thing on the right. So let's line this up on the right side out and then down. We're going to round out the wrist. From the left side, we're just going to curve around and then pull that up. Now we're going to follow that same curve going in behind the shoulder armor. Up and then in. Now we're going to step down and draw the second set of arms. So from this point, we're going to step down and just follow that same curve coming out and then down. We're gonna step down and draw that same curve coming down towards the wrist. Now 
I'm just gonna close off the bottom with a curve. Let's do the same thing on the right side. From this point, we're gonna step down, curve out, and then down towards the wrist. We're gonna come down to the bottom of the arm, curve down and out, and then again, close off the bottom with a curve. Now let's draw the hands in behind the wrist. So on the left side, we're gonna step down. It's almost like drawing a circle. We're gonna go around and then pull that in. I wanna leave a gap at the bottom here. Go back to the top and work in the bottom side of the circle. And coming in. I'm gonna round out the inside. So hooking this back. Now we're gonna follow this all the way around. Start from the top, go all the way around. We're gonna do the same thing to all these hands. So let's step down here. Stepping down from the wrist, we'll draw the left side of the circle. Again, leaving a gap at the bottom. Do the same thing on the right side. Round up the inside of the fingers. And then we'll work our way around from left to right. Now let's take those and flip it over on the right side. Starting on the outside, we're gonna step down. Go back to the top and work in the right side. Round up the inside of the hand connect the inside with a half circle. And then one last time. Now we're gonna connect the hands to the arms. We're gonna draw two lines. So from the center, we're gonna step up, draw an angle line going up, and then one along the bottom. We're gonna do the same thing to the rest of the hands, going up in an angle. Now we're gonna finish this off with that smoky mist along the bottom of the body. Starting from the lower hip here, we're gonna curve out and then down. I'm gonna taper this back up to create a point. Now we're gonna work our way towards the tip of the smoke. Curve down and in. We're gonna round this out and then go up. Now from the end, we wanna make our way back up towards the hip. To start here, we're gonna curve around. So tapering this, curving around and then up to right here. We're gonna add another point curving back. Now we're gonna go all the way around and then in towards the bottom hip on the right. We'll just curve that back up. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Kanji Khan from Ninjago. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.